So recently I used an earlier version of Pro Tools that didn't have clip gain and a couple of other features that I'm already used to. But in this video, we're going to focus on the trim plugin and how I solved some of the issues using that earlier version of Pro Tools. Yes, I'm talking about trim. This plugin, a lot of people have forgotten about it. We have clip gain and there's really no need for it. Over here, I have this loop. It's extremely loud. Normally, I will grab clip gain, bring down the levels. Now with an earlier version of Pro Tools, you can create another track, send to that track, over here at the fader, just bring it down and then print that. You can do that, but that's too much work. We're not gonna talk about the plus six dB and the plus 12 dB. I'm gonna bring it down to around here. You can use the meters if you would like. All right, that's pretty good. Now, if you're wondering, what about if I don't have a VU meter? Well, you can Google it. There's some free ones out there, but if you don't want to do that, especially if you are in a system that you can't install any plugins, what you can do, you can go ahead and load the stock EQ and use the meters there. This is how we were before. Now, one of the things that suck by doing it this way, all your processing plugins have to go under this plugin. That's just the way it is. And another thing that sucks, the trim plugin doesn't exist within the audio suite plugins. But I'm gonna show you a way around this. Very simple. We're gonna go to audio suite. We're gonna open an EQ, the stock EQ. Now we're gonna open the trim plugin. Right here on the gain is minus 12.4 dB. So right here on the input, minus 12.4 dB. I'm gonna bypass the plugin. Let's listen back. Now we're gonna render. We can close this. Make sure we have all these plugins on bypass. Pretty nice, we're not clipping. We're able to introduce a plugin like this channel strip and I'm able to boost, do whatever I want and I'm not overloading the plugin. And that's all to it. Now, some of you guys might disagree in the method that I use. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of ways to do the same thing. Everybody has their own way. There's no rules stating you have to use this plugin to do this. It works. It sounds good. I'm not overloading. I didn't have to create another track. I didn't have to deal with any routing. Saved a lot of time, which is very important. So I really hope you enjoy this video. If you have a question, let me know. If you want to discuss what I just did in this video, let's talk about it. If this is the first time watching one of my videos, please subscribe. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.